Hello everyone, we continue with our opposition Static Rook vs Swinging Rook castles, this time for Swinging Rook side. Just a reminder, this is Horizontal Shogi, which means the enemy attack will be coming from this side, something like this. So remember that your castles need to be strong from the, at this time, left side. So we will start with the basic castle, which is Mino Castle. If the boat castle is the basic castle, static rook Mino Castle definitely will be the basic shape for swinging rook. Doesn't matter which swinging rook. The most important point will be that silver and gold and another gold are protecting each other. You would like to push the edge pound to give it more space in the end game for the king. And what small tweaks you can do, yeah, push this pound or this pound to have different meanings in the middle game. But generally speaking, for example, pushing this pawn will allow you uh, to avoid bishop lines like those. Pawn push here will allow you perhaps uh, bishop drops like this. So depending on your middle game plan, it is a very flexible castle that you can adjust. On top of that, Mino has also a lot of flexibility of it can evolve into another castle. For example, I Mino can become higher in the influence. You can also develop your defensive knight into more attacking one. Furthermore, it can develop into silver crown, which we saw in the last video. This again, which gives us more influence on the top, also allows us to develop the knight and is generally a solid castle. If you like to use all your generals in the defense, you can have the basic Mino and then use this silver to connect. This shape is called Diamond Mino. Eventually, if, for example, you're playing against a solid castle like Anaguma, you have enough time to develop into higher position. This is used in Koyan style opening. When I was learning Shogi, I often watched games of a professional called Oyama, and his favorite style of Mino was something like this. Uh, the silver would come all the way to here, and it was the gold's role to help the protection of the bishop's head. The shapes exist, but it might be a little bit hard to play because silver is a weaker defensive piece than the gold. But it's good to know. Now, because Swinging Rook has to oppose many of the enemy ideas whenever it is a solid castle or a quick attack, we also have between castles in a way. We have half Mino when we use the left gold somewhere else. Uh, it often happens in Swinging Rook that the gold will either stay here or go left, go here. And yeah, sometimes it joins the castle itself. So depending on your opening, depending on your playstyle, you can use half Mino as well. This castle is a new one. It's called Cozy Castle. It's used in very specific opening, very specific setup. Uh, personally, I think it's a little bit weak because the gold is elevated, but it has some practical uses. Kimura Mino is when you had Mino and you move the silver higher and then you put the gold behind. I put Nakabisha here, a central rook here, to show you that it can be used in this specific opening. Another castle, one of the types of quick castle, when you simply move the general up. If the fight's just about to start and you don't have time to move your king to the side and move silver up, you can move the silver once up and you have a minimal castle. Similarly, uh, you can do this shape, which is very specific opening as well. It can evolve into previously mentioned Kimura Mino, so it's like a in-between castle as well. And especially in eShop exchange openings, when we have our left gold somewhere here, we can build half silver crown castle like this. It's sometimes useful to know this shape. Now, I didn't know, but there is also a Furibisha version of Millennium Castle, looking something like this. I believe it is an effort to oppose a static Anaguma. And of course, if you would like to fight enemy Anaguma with Anaguma, as Furibisha, you can also do it like this. Uh, this gold could be here, but Sometimes it's even more on the left. The idea is that you need to uh, cover those pounds. Yeah, that's quite complex. So just keep in mind that these gods will have some important side job to do. We of course could evolve this castle into different ones, like we've seen with Big Four and so on, but it's quite rare, so I'm, I'm not going to include it in 
this video. I got a few comments about this, so I'm just gonna answer it on the video as well. Currently we are covering the opening phase of Shogi game. I know you're all interested in how this castle works in practice, for example, how we can break it or how we can defend it. But this would be more about middle game or even more close to end game. We are eventually getting to go there, but I think it's important for us to first finish one thing and then start another. So eventually we will get there, don't worry. <laughs> in the next video, we're gonna cover double static rook castles. Perhaps I will fit double swinging rook castles in the same video, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna go into territory of vertical shogi. So I will see you there. Bye bye. Thank you.